everybody. How are you? Happy Thursday. It is time for my fertility scope. So I welcome everyone who is slowly joining. I'm Elizabeth Willett, Senior Fertility Herbalist with the Natural Fertility Company. We are the naturalfertilityshop.com and naturalfertilityinfo.com. And I've come to you today to talk to you about positive affirmations. Um, I don't know how many of you use them, uh, but they are something that I've relied upon for many years now and um, been able to, um, what's the word I'm looking for, initiate some really positive change in my life. So I wanted to share with you some tips for this mind-body practice that I think will help you. So welcome. All right, let's get started. Um, positive affirmations for creating a positively fertile life. So I'm going to talk to you today about um, how many of or how to address the emotional and issues that weigh on your mind when you're going through your fertility journey or frankly any challenge in life. Um, I'm wondering how many of you actively address your emotions and your mind and all of the things that weigh on you while you're battling your, your particular issue or going through your fertility journey. Um, share with me how you do that in the comments. I'd love to hear and I'd love for you to share tips with everyone. So um, go ahead and post those in comments. I may or may not comment back. But anyway, um, what do you do to help yourself get through the things that weigh on your mind right now? That's what I want to know. Um, we understand that the human mind is powerful. We all know that. We have learned copious amounts of things throughout our lives. Um, we are able to pick up new things and learn new things daily. Um, we can have thoughts and emotions, obviously, uh, but if you're struggling with infertility and all you've been focusing on so far are your physical, um, present, the physical presentations, the pain, the name of the issue that you have, um, working with supplements and, um, you know, trying to better your physical body and you've yet to address your mind, it could be holding you back a little bit. Um, so if you're struggling with infertility and you're not addressing those emotions, it's probably time to think about this and think about how to do that for yourself. Um, these are tips that are completely free. You're in 100% control of your mind and you are in 100% control of your thoughts and how, you're, how you change your thoughts. It doesn't require an appointment doesn't require specific time necessarily where you sit and think, 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 which could make you more sad. Um, it's fairly easy to create positive affirmations and I'm gonna walk you through some steps. I think you're gonna understand that it's really simple. Hopefully you'll understand that. Um, so these really are tips for transforming your thoughts. So often throughout the day we're, we're inundated with things like, um, negative things, you know, things that I, I'm not able, I'm not worthy, I'm not, um, I'm not going to get better, I'm not going to get heal or healed, I'm not going to heal, how am I going to ever overcome this fertility health issue, will I ever be a mom, is it time to give up, um, and your thought, your list could probably go on and on and on, right, so, um, I have a list here I'll go through in the end. Anyway, when it comes to caring for yourself from a holistic perspective, it's really important to consider not only what affects your physical body, hi, um, but also what's affecting your mind and your spirit, your heart, your heart center. Um, we focus on get, getting rid of a symptom and, and that's not the only place to focus like I mentioned. Um, doubts about the body's inability to procreate to make that baby can turn what should be a happy journey into a not so happy one, into a mental battle. And we don't want that for you at all. Um, so I wanted to teach you about creating positive affirmations and also the law of attraction. I don't know if you've heard that phrase before or not, but there's this idea called the law of attraction that um, simply defined really means that by focusing on a positive or negative thought, one can bring about positive or negative results. Um, it's very true. I, I don't know if you've ever caught yourself in a situation where um, you're just having a down day and you're constantly thinking negative thoughts and everything seems to be going wrong. Um, there's an idea that you've attracted all of that everything that seems to be going wrong. And vice versa, when you're having a great day and you're having fun and you're doing lots of fun things, it seems like the whole day really goes well or almost the whole day really goes well and you're upbeat and you feel good. There's an idea that you've attracted that positive 
happiness to that particular day. Um, so about affirmations, there's something declared to be true, a positive statement or judgment. And you can transform those negative thoughts to positive ones. And it's just that. It's just this simple, truly. I'm going to show you. I've been doing it in preparation for um, this talk. Um, if you get any old piece of paper, this one's really bright. I'll share with you what I have written on it. This is just from a journal I keep on my desk. Fold it in half lengthwise, right? And when you open it towards yourself, the little arrow out, on the left-hand side, write down all of those negative thoughts that you're thinking. Mine lately have been, I'm afraid for this country, my patience levels are wearing thin, I'm tired, I'm a bad mom for yelling at my son, and my hip aches, I'm getting old. I was on my walk last night, it was really hurting me. <laughs> and I giggle at myself, which you should too, but you may not giggle at yourself. And these are really things that have been weighing on my mind. For some of you, they may seem silly. You may even think that the things that you write down on your list seem silly. But write everything down for a couple of days. Do this for a couple of days in a row. Write everything down that seems negative, that's weighing on you. And then after you give this list a couple of days or you run out of paper, which I certainly hope you don't, fold it over so that you so that you're just writing on the right side. I choose to write in a bold, bigger marker um, just so that I can see it and reread it um, and it looks more positive. Oh, I'm sorry, let me, let me block that user. I don't know who that was. Um, anyway, so I've transformed my negative thoughts for the last couple of days. Um, I transformed I am afraid for this country into I have faith. So you're transformed Fear should be positive. I can do this. I have faith. I have the ability. I am able. My body is well. My body can heal. I will become a mother. Um, very active verbs. This, you'll use very active verbs and try to stay as positive as possible. But anyway, um, I have faith. Um, for my patients' levels are wearing thin, I wrote, I am patient. Um, I'm a bad mom for yelling. I wrote, I love my sons and do the best I can as their mom. And for my hip aches, I'm getting old, I wrote, my body is healthy and capable. I know all of these things to be true. It's just in the moment when I'm stuck in the negative, I'm not thinking that way. I'm not believing myself. So these, the, way, the actual act of rewriting them is the start of reprogramming my brain to think the positive thought as opposed to the negative one. So then when you've written all of your positive affirmations, all you have to do is fold it in half and put those negative thoughts on the bottom. Um, cover them up. Hide them behind the positive. You're actually, this is a physical act of hiding your negative thoughts behind the positive. And then hang this somewhere with a little piece of tape or a sticker. Um, your bathroom mirror, your bedroom somewhere where you get dressed or where you put your makeup on or do your hair, somewhere where you stand for a little while every day. Uh, your desk at work, wherever you are and wherever you have time to read them and reread them and reread them. That's the reprogramming part. Um, tell yourself you have faith, you are able, your body is well, you can heal, and reread what you've written um, that's positive as often as you need to. Um, it truly is just that simple. It just takes a little bit of commitment to repeating. And if you need to read them out loud to hear yourself, which some people do to help start that reprogramming process, you certainly can do that too if you're in a place to do that. Um, but it, it, it really is that simple. And I, um, in my article, Four Steps to Creating Positive Affirmations on naturalfertilityinfo.com, which I encourage you to read, I share a little bit more and I share these steps in there too. So I'm sorry I should have mentioned you didn't need to be taking copious notes while I'm talking if you really wanted to try this process. You can go to the article. It's four steps for creating positive affirmations. Four steps. And then after you've hung this and you're reading it to yourself every day, um, I hope that you'll notice the magic unfold. And I'm going to share with you a little bit of a personal story. Um, I'm going to put myself out there because I've seen this work. I've experienced this work for me. Um, so... About almost seven years ago, my first marriage was failing. We were losing our house. 
Um, my dog that I'd adopted, and um, if those of you those of you who have pets understand um, how precious they are. But anyway, my dog that I adopted that I'd had for several years uh, was hit by a car and needed hip surgery. Um, $2,500 worth of hip surgery. Yes, that was $2,500. So I'm a graduate student. <laughs> I'm losing, my marriage is failing. We're losing our house. And I need to have my dog have hip surgery for $2,500. I wasn't working full time. Um, my sister was going through some emotional stuff that I was trying to help her with and taking on, which um, I couldn't and I hated that I couldn't. I was just in this place where I was like, what the heck is going on in my life? And I, and I let, let it overcome me. Um, I spent several days in a row without showering in my jammies in my house, kind of just being all whole home and eating whatever I wanted to. And, um, you know, going through that part of the grieving process and my mom and my sister showed up at my door um, just out of the blue and we're like, you, you've got a shower and let's just go get a coffee and let's get out and get some fresh air. And um, it was at that point that I realized that I had let myself sink into this place of what am I doing? What the heck's going on in my life? I'm going to lose all of this stuff. I, I'm not worthy. How am I going to afford everything? You know, um, it, it just wasn't a good place at all. But it was at that point that my mom and my sister showed up that I realized I had to address that. And so um, I went out for a walk with my dog. Uh, he limped along and I kind of just pulled him. He was in this weird set up for his hip at the point at that point um but i i talked to myself i talked to myself out of i'm never going to be able to get out of this and i started um transforming my thoughts really slowly it took me a few days to come up with my affirmation that got me out of that place um but i ended up repeating creating this affirmation and repeating it to myself and i still do it to this day uh, but my affirmation was, I'm happy and healthy and intuitive, surrounded by love, and live a prosperous and abundant life. Somehow, through my walks in nature and through that quick little visit and coffee with my mom and my sister, um, I was able to create that affirmation. I realized that I needed to transform my ho-hum thoughts to this positive one. And those were the words I needed at that point in my life. And a year later, I met my current husband. Um, it was something that was not planned at all. It was on a whim. In fact, it was my dog that he noticed first, of all things. I got a tax return for $2,500 exactly, so I was able to afford the surgery for my dog. Uh, my marriage ended very peacefully. Uh, I'm very grateful for that. It was not hard. Uh, of course it was hard, but it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a fight like so often they are. And I was able to sell my house. Um, it belongs to this beautiful woman who loves it. And so um, after repeating this affirmation to myself, these things just happened to come into play. It was amazing to me. And I didn't realize it until I moved to where I live now. Um, I met my husband. We talked about marriage. We ended up getting married. And now we have two sons. And one day I was sitting out in our backyard and I thought, I think I manifested this. I think this is what is my happy and prosperous um, and I realized that that's what that meant for me so I know that this is not going to end up being as quick or as easy of a process for many of you especially those of you who've been battling infertility for such a long time but I truly think that if you take the time to write down those negative thoughts that are flooding your mind and your heart and then on the flip side write down the positive thoughts that or transform those into positive thoughts and just continually repeating them to yourself that you will see a shift in your mind um, and I certainly hope that and I'm here to help you with this process um, I, I mean I can't create affirmations for you but I can help you through it uh, I know that because I've done it myself and I've created a practice of um, making affirmations for the times when I needed them in my life I'd be happy to help you all through them if you wanted to try this process and we also have information on our, inform on our um, informational website, naturalfertilityinfo.com. I shared with you my uh, guide, Four Steps to Creating Affirmations for a Positively Fertile Life. Um, but we also have how using affirmations in pregnancy can keep you calm and centered, IVF affirmations, using your thoughts to stay calm and foster success, affirmations for fertility, changing your thoughts to help change your fertility, and belief, the key to success and healing, believing in yourself. Um, 
go to nfi.com, naturalfertilityinfo.com, search affirmations, and all of these articles will come up right on the top, as well as some more mind-body practices that you might appreciate um, if you're wanting to address your thoughts and um, work on healing your mind or getting your mind in a place where you will be happy or at least be able to take yourself to a happy place when you're not. So um, I hope that you feel like this is a useful tool. It certainly is very useful, has been very useful for me. And I have seen women use affirmations and see physical change in their bodies as well. Not only has their outlook changed or have they found a new level of hope and they're able to try something new, they have manifested some physical change um, with their menstrual cycles, um, you know, with the outcome of some of their fertility procedures and things like that. All right, you guys, I hope that these tips are helpful. We have oodles of tips on our website. We have an entire team here to help you deal with the emotions of all of what you're going through. Um, don't forget to address those. Take your vitamins, eat your fertility diet, um, continue on with your cleanse, but do also address your what's weighing on your heart and your mind. Um, that will certainly help you on this journey as well. So thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm glad everything was super helpful, and I hope you have an awesome, joy-filled afternoon. We'll see you next week. Bye.